Okay, so I messed up again and I can't find the intro that I did for today's hunt. Um, surrounded by feral cats. Uh, yeah, another intro lost. I don't know what's going on with that, but uh, today's hunt was more about helping Chris out with his manticore video again and catching up with the guys. It's the first time we've all been out together for quite a while, but uh, very enjoyable. Not massive amounts found, but some interesting bits and pieces. And hopefully we'll get out in the week, although it's supposed to be a little wet. Sorry, I'm watching these ferals. They're attacking my pond. Right. Hope you enjoy the video. Uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks for watching. See you. Out of interest. 27, 28, 29. Clean. Right, let's have a look. Always check those low numbers just in case. If they're clean like that. They're worth a look. See something coppery there, I think. Oh, let's have a look. Sorry, I'm really not very good with this. Uh, there you go. Oh, crimped bit of copper pipe. There you go. There, 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 there. Where's that camera gone? Right, on we go. To have a rethink on this uh, live digs thing. So I will remount the camera if I get an absolute peach of a signal and dig that live for you. But I'm just digging far too much rubbish and filling up my card. That said, I unmounted my phone. I popped it in my pocket, got a rough, very rough signal of 30. I've dug it up. It's a headless horse. Look at that. <laughs> Just my luck, isn't it? The first thing of any interest that I dig up. And I didn't do my live on it. Anyway, on I go. About 200 yards away from the little horsey is a little man. Little lead soldier. Headless, footless, armless. But uh, there he is. <laughs> right. Obviously a good place for the kids to play war games. There he is. Oh, get off. There you go. On I go. And just a little pistol shot with a hitchhiker. Look that. Looks like it uh, might have struck a target. Hold on. Bye bye little hitchhiker. Flattened on that side. And my pinpointer battery's just died and I've put the wrong spares in my pouch. So this is gonna become hard work now. Right, on I go in here I just knocked the mud off it and see it just hold on can we get in closer there I think it's just a button but it looks like a very very old button it is a button but it does look very very old and very ornate look at that I like that. I'm guessing it's a button front. Oh, the sun's making it hard to see on my screen if it's focusing or not. That's the back of it. But look at the front of that. That's lovely. Very interesting. Yeah. Right, on a go. Shows a. <sighs> Little plain watch wind up. 
know where that's made from. I don't think it's silver. Obviously it's got the iron down here. But uh, yeah, it's got no greening on that patina that I can see. Maybe buta, I don't know. Right, on we go. If, uh, yeah. For any wind noise, the breeze has started to pick up now. I don't know what this is. It's obviously modern because you've got the uh, screw thread there. But look at that. Interesting. I did get rather excited when I saw it in the side wall of the hole. But uh, yeah, I don't know what that is. Strange. Right. <laughs> Let's carry on. We've got something ringing up nice. Hold on, swap hands. Nicely in this little clod here. Unfortunately, I'm having to do this old school now. So it's coming in 65 to 68, which is where those Vicky Silvers were coming. Don't know if you can hear that through my headphones. I've put headphones back on as well because horsey people are in the field next door. Oh no, I see it. Oh, it is. Oh, I had my thumb in front of the blinking camera. Uh, a button. Looks like it may have been military. See a wreath around the outside. Uh, hold on. Ah, it's a Kenty one, I think. Don't know if you can uh, make it out or not. Oh, hold on. Swap hands again. Try and do this right. See, you've got the uh, looks like the Invicta horse there. Just, just about make him out. Right, let's crack on. And we've got ourselves an 8687 and it's just fallen off the side of the clod. Not looked at it yet, but it looks fairly toasted from where I'm standing. Yeah, I'm gonna call that a toasty. I'll give it a wipe off. Hold on, two secs. Yeah, not going to be anything left on that one. No, it is a goner. Size and thickness wise, I'd take a punt at George Third. Half penny. Right, let's crack on. This is a quiet, quiet field. Well, apart from all the tiny specks of lead. Right, on I go. This was coming in in the mid 60s, 64, 65. It's one of those uh, leather mounts, trying to get the right light for you without getting the wind. One of those uh, little leather mounts. And it's still got the leather in there, look. Look at that. That's brilliant. Oh, I love things like that. I know, you're probably screaming, get on with it. But, yeah, look. Still got the leather. Lovely. Right, on I go. Another coin. Looks fairly modern, if I'm honest. Not sure yet. I'll give it a wipe off and let you know. Sorry, hold on. Yeah, 1926 farthing. I'll see if I can get any more detail off it. If I can, I'll show you. <sighs> Crikey, that one took some finding. Ah, uh, that was a sit down on the floor and pick through it job. 
little tiny bags hill. Can't quite make out what that says on it. Uh, my tired old eyes will have to have a better look at home. If I can work it out, I'll caption it for you. But uh, yeah, love a bag seal. Oh, it's hard work with no pinpointer. Right, on I go. Right, those pesky gnomes have been out and they buried some treasure and I found the lock off it. Right, where's the treasure at? Oh, I don't know. Well, since we've had one of these, ah, uh, all my aching back. Navy button. Where are we? Come on, where's the sunshine? There we are. Little navy button. In at 40 on the nose. Heading slowly back towards the car because that sun is starting to dip. On I go. Okay, got no idea what this is. I thought it was going to be a piece of tin can at first, but it seems to have the letter S on it. It's broken off something, obviously. Uh, hold on. There you go. Can't see because of the glare on my screen. Got no foil on me to test it. Oh, come on. To test if it's silver or not. I'm being ever so clumsy today. I don't know what that is. Interesting. Very interesting. I'll give this area a little bit more sweeping and have a look and see if there's any more of it about. Right, on I go. There's me and my defeatist attitude thinking this was just going to be another piece of shrapnel it's not it's a rain guide I'm not sure on age but oh sorry yeah yeah horse tack rain guide interesting that's not going to fit in a box is it right give this area a little scout because if somebody's missed that who knows what else they've missed right on a go to add this up, it's just a toasted coin, but just for reference sake, I'd say it's farthing sized, and that came in screaming at 86, and it was stuck on the bottom of that, so it wasn't particularly deep, probably about 3-4 inches. Toasty, right, on we go, and got ourselves a big lead bullet, the size of that. You not want that chasing you down a field, would you? It's been bent. It looks like a Smurf's hat. Look at that. Strange. Right. Some of the other guys have turned up now, but none of us are having much luck today. On I go. No idea what this is, but it's round and it's sticking out the side of the clod. See it there? And it's green. Oh, it's only half of whatever it is. Uh, hold on, let's have a look. Uh, just knock some mud off it for you. Uh, looks like whatever it was is now void of details. Just make out, sorry, just make out some lettering up. Oh, terrible. Make out some lettering just up here. Uh, yeah, no idea. It is coinage, but of what I do not know. Right, on I go. 